So, um, we're gonna be playing Portal Reloaded because Portal Reloaded was the winner. And I, and guys, I just wanna thank you guys for 200 subscribers. I can't believe we actually made it that far. So, um, so let's hop into this game. Test subject. Hold on. Um, let's increase the audio just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Four, five, zero, nine. You have been in stasis for sixteen I say days we're in the human and four decades. To the Aperture Science Long Term Human Storage Vault. You have been selected to take part in a very special testing Another course. One. Another empty one. Even made it on the ceiling. Federal regulations require us to inform you that the testing ahead may result in slight cases of sore throat. Okay. Or blurry vision. Or Death. No. If you experience any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. Uh. Uh. Okay, um. This vacuum tube will take you to your testing area. You will be further instructed there. Good luck. Okay, good luck. I think this was this was the first announcer to ever wish us good luck. Okay. Um Welcome to the Enrichment Center. These automated messages will guide you through your test today. The Enrichment Center. The door in front of you is programmed to, to open up. in approximately 20 years. This test can be solved in two different ways. Option one, wait patiently. Okay. Option two, time travel to the future. The choice is yours. However, if you prefer time travel, the Enrichment Center will provide you the means to pursue that option. The time portal will open kind of and glitched. testing will begin in 3, 2, 1. Okay. Welcome on, to the future. Back. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the Enrichment Center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. Okay. You may see some signs of decay. 
Don't worry. The enrichment center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. Alrighty. Find a way to exit the chamber. Button. Welcome back to the present. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit chambers. cleaner than the future. In Portal 2, there was like 22, I think? Yeah. This Aperture Science Test Subject Teleportation Device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. This process is absolutely safe. Cool! Usually. I want to go back. These next chambers will involve cube and button-based testing with the perks of time travel. Cool. A cube placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Moving a cube in the present will automatically update the location of the same cube in the future. This future version of the cube can be moved freely without affecting its counterpart in the present. It will stay wherever you leave it, as long as the present cube's destiny is not altered in any way. Well, I have watched the tools in Portal Reloaded, um, on the Portal Reloaded channel. Go subscribe to them. Um, I'm gonna, I want, I want to, I want to know what he says when I, when I go, when I put it in there. Nice try, but bringing a present cube to the future violates Ow. the laws of causality and is therefore impossible. Um, okay. These material emancipation grills will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through them, including cubes. Okay. Continue to the next chamber. Okay. We understanding the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. Simply put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. Okay. Thinking. While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future, this clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful this in future four. chambers. do with these two cubes. So if I... Oh, okay. I see what you're doing, game. <laughs> I like that, so fast. Do I have to 
horse or something? Always remember, if you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version of that object will be affected as well. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. The next chamber will only heavily rely on your understanding of this very basic concept. Okay. Okay. Can't. Oh, I saw a turret. Okay. You hopefully understand the concept of cause and effect and how cubes behave in different timelines. Yep. Now, let's move on to something more interesting. Okay. I don't feel safe going in those teleporters though. For the moment you've been waiting for, Aperture Science proudly presents the Triple Portal. This marvelous Ooh. device will allow you to place so three different I... portals. For how now, I, however, uh... to introduce you to the concept of Shoot, portals in different portals. timelines, the time portals will be placed for you. Oh, okay. So later, I guess. Oh, um... A portal placed in the present will oh. appear on the same surface in the future. Okay. Um... A portal placed in the future will not override its existing location in the present. Nice. Now, thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place thinking? your portals, but also when. By the way, the voice of the, the announcer is uh, Harry101 UK. You can go subscribe to them. The Portal Reloaded channel and uh, Please ignore the Harry101 that. UK. The decay of this facility over the is, past uh, years may have the caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. Well, I can't do that. But, uh... Okay. Uh, oh, that portal service is destroyed, so I can't really go in there. Um. Oh, okay. It's oh, okay. Nicely done. Take note. Because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines. They can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. This next chamber will involve the concept of momentum-based traveling through portals. You go in fast, you come out fast. Simple okay. enough. Whee. Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. 
Okay. If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think I'll about where and when to pass through them. Whee! Oh, okay, um... Let's go in there. And then, uh... Woohoo! Oh, I have an idea. Oh. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. Whee! Okay, since that's not big enough, or not deep enough to go through and all that crap, yeah. So, so the portals don't change when you put when you change them in the time in the, the twenty years in the future. So yeah, outstanding. I do like now that you know all the essentials. Yeah. How about shooting some time portals of your own? Ahead of you is the Aperture Science Time Portal Activation Force Field. This field will activate and deactivate oh, your ability to shoot portal. time portals. It will not fizzle oh. your portals or destroy cubes. Okay. Well, that, that, that's neat. Great. The following chamber will combine all the elements you have learned so far. Good luck solving your first test while oh. shooting three different portals. It's it's literally the same in that gameplay trailer. That's nice. Nice, that's nice. I know what to do because I watched the gameplay trailer. Traveling through a time portal will also transfer your current momentum into the other timeline.
Nicely done. Now, let's move on to some more advanced challenges. Okay. So, guys, thank you for 200 subscribers. It really means a lot to me that you that you guys are supporting me. And so I'll end the video right here. And um, see you later.